It's me, Denny Daniel, at the Inventions speak Secret Speakeasy, and we're doing the unboxing of the items that came in. Uh, so everyone, uh, on your marks, get set, and go grab scissors, and open up a package, and do it. And I, I'm not even going to open one myself. Like I said, I'm going to let you guys open all of them. And then once one of them is open, bring it over to me, and I'll tell you what you got. Jessica, you're going to be so happy. I have, a I have an idea of what that is. Yeah, that is a really cool item. <laughs> and then all you guys in TV land get to uh, experience the new acquisitions before anyone. So you're all deputized to be uh, museum curators. Yeah, there's, there's three left over, so whoever has not gotten one, go pick one up. Yeah, yeah, go, run. Don't waste time. <laughs> It's not like we have hours and hours of footage on that thing. <laughs> and I find people always open up something interesting and cool. And Jess, you both, there's an extra one for both, for, 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 yeah, yeah, there's still an extra one, so you still, I know he wants to open yeah. one too, so, yeah, switch, let him open that one. Okay, Jeff. Trust me on this one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one calling your name. You have to go with your heart and open the package that belongs, that you want to, because I find people, the package picks the person. After 12 years of doing this, the irony is unmistakable. People go, oh my God, I can't believe I opened this. And then walk up to me when you're uh, ready, when you've got, who's got one open? Oh, come on, step up. Don't do it over there. Doesn't do any good over there. So, what's your name? Judy. Judy? So come over here so then your great grandkids will know which one you opened. Uh, she opened up one of my detective magazines. I'm doing a whole, we do a spy versus spy show. And I got all these great antique detective magazines and they're so, Vicky was in the way, so she offed her. Isn't that great? Vicky was in the way. You don't want to get in the way of this woman here. So, <laughs> yeah, put it over there. And then who's next? Step right up. Jessica, I told you you'd love this one. Do you know oh, what that is? I do. It's a mood ring. She opened my first mood ring. <laughs> the last one I had, I was a child, <laughs> and they were still popular. That is so funny. So let's see what mood she's in. Very dark. You must be goth. <laughs> yes. So that's a really cool one, Jess. Oh, and it comes with a mood chart. So uh, Jessica is feeling, uh, yeah, well, it's COVID. You're feeling stressed. <laughs> or it might be this one, which is, oh, romantic. Let's go with that. It's more brown, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, she's feeling romantic. Excellent. Good. Good choice. Thank okay, you, so put all you. that together and put it over there. Uh, and then, uh, here we go. And what's your name? My name is Joe. Joe. Joe came in with another one of the detective ones. And these magazines, the Illustrated Detective, go for so much money, I only could afford the cover. But the cover is so cool, we're going to make t-shirts of that. Isn't that the coolest t-shirt? I could totally see you wearing this t-shirt. And it matches your hat. <laughs> so uh, go ahead, put that uh, over there, uh, and then step right up. 33 records. Oh, cool. What's your name? That's that. Zach, not Lisa? No, no. Okay, well, he opened up a birthday record. We have the world's largest collection of birthday 45s. Um, so this one is Captain Zoom singing happy birthday to Lisa. So if you know a Lisa, call me. We do birthday shows where we do custom, we'll play this on a, on a 1965 Fisher Price record player. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, and what's your name again? My name's Zach. Zach. Oh, that's my cousin's name. Oh. I, was, I was like, did I hear that wrong? <laughs> that's funny. Um, um, I have the same thing here. Oh, you opened my up a birthday. My name is Howard. Day. Yeah. Howard? So you, yeah. you opened up Happy Birthday Baby. <laughs> because clearly you're just a big kid. <laughs> so Howard opened up Happy... I don't know if I have Howard yet. I have him figured out. And there's a couple in here. Oh, do you remember Prince? The artist, formerly known as Prince? Yes. Well, Wendy and Lisa were two of his performers, and they did a birthday record. And I had no clue until like a week ago, and I was like, oh my god, we got to get Prince. So uh, Wendy and Lisa did a birthday song. Uh, this one is Are You Baby on one side, but the other side is, a, is Happy Birthday. Oh. So if you guys remember Prince and the Revolution, excellent. And nobody knows what you look. Come over here. Oh. 
what was your name again? Oh, Howard. Howard. That's Howard. That's he so opened up uh, <laughs> Lee Towers doing Happy Birthday Baby. <laughs> Who knows Lee Towers? Nobody. And Wendy and Lisa. Okay, so okay. thank you. Thank Good you. job. And I'll put that over there. And then uh, step right up. Who's next? You got a record. Hold on. We got the... Uh, okay. So you open up. Come on over here. <laughs> okay. I'll see what film we got. So it's a, there's a note from um, someone. The Alternative yeah. Rock Company disc for someone to enjoy. Wow. wow. Look at that. How nice That's of him. Awesome. He, he yeah. did a little donation for me of some cool music. Sometimes these guys that sell me things, they, they know that I teach kids. And they'll add donations, which wow. is just so nice of them. Uh, what, and then the is film, oh, What's is Paul still in the room? Yes, he is. This is a Walter Lance cartoon titled Vaudeville Day. Oh, what's your name? Vaudeville. Deepak. Deep oh, right, yes. Deepak opened up Vaudeville Day's uh, Fairy Fables from around 1957. And this is a uh, Tex Avery film who basically is the reason why Bugs Bunny is so cool. Wow. He was the guy that wow. made Bugs Bunny cool. Wait, so this Walter is. Lance and he created Woody Woodpecker. Tex Avery did the uh, the uh, Bugs Bunny and the, all, the, all the other stuff. You're very good. Yes, oh, and Walter, uh, did, apparently, we have, we're doing a cartoon speakeasy soon, so you definitely want to come to that. Uh, we're going to do a bouncing ball sing-along and a cartoon one, and it was called Car, as in like C-A-R, and Tune, as in T-U-N-E. How cool is that? So if I recall correctly, this one actually has um, some, some sing-along stuff, but it's a vaudeville act. So it's a very cool one. And he put it in, bring the case over, because if I recall correctly, he put it in a Beatles case. It looks like that's one of the Beatles cases. So I, I'm dying to pull off. Let's see if I can get it off quick enough. Oh, it's a Popeye one, but it's the same design right, okay. uh, as the Popeye ones, but I've never had a Popeye case. How nice, how cool is that? So that's an original Popeye reel case. How cool. Um, okay, so put that one aside over there on the side, and then your turn. Step right up. Okay. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Wow, that's really cool. Well, I tried to open as carefully as I could. So she opened up two things. This one I didn't buy. <laughs> he threw it in as a gift. How nice. Nat Stucky. <laughs> I have Nat, yeah, Nat Stucky Independence. Mm -hmm. So the irony is his last name is Stucky, and he wrote an album, Independence. So I guess he's no longer stuck. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he even noticed that joke. I have to email him and ask him. Yeah. Um, and then you opened up one of these really cool, crazy, holy grail items, Granny's mini skirt. <laughs> What's your name? Nice. Pecky. Pecky opened up Granny's mini skirt, and you know Granny, the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, yeah. This is oh, Granny wow. from the Beverly oh, Hillbillies. Wow. Yeah, her name was Irene Ryan uh, of the top-rated CBS TV show, The Beverly Hillbillies, and she did this crazy record. Whoa. So we're going to be, I should tell you, we're going to be debuting our show that I'm developing called Ridiculous Records. Nice. And that's going to be after New Year's Eve. So after you get all drunk and crazy, J January 2nd, come here, and I'm going to have every one of our crazy, ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous records, including this, including this one. And we're going to play our ridiculous soundies, our ridiculous films as well. Because believe me, I've got some ridiculous films. Um, this isn't... Oh, so this came in a different box. No, this came in the same box, both of oh. them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, how strange. Okay, so he did donate that. Okay, any other... Little, uh, oh, step right up. So this is uh, our projectionist, Scarlett. <laughs> and Scarlett opened up a, a record that's a birthday record that's not Scarlett. <laughs> you opened up Charles, so you need to find someone called Charles to sing happy birthday to. So this is once again a Captain Zoom record that were these custom records uh, that were made... Uh, 70s, 80s, up until today, he still does this. I called Captain Zoom himself and spoke to him on the phone. He's really <laughs> cool, and he donated a bunch of stuff. He's like, yeah, I still do this. I moved to Florida. <laughs> so he does this in Florida. You can order these digitally now. I found out from a senior center. I did a senior center, and the girl was like, oh, you should get Captain Zoom stuff. It's birthday stuff, and I, I got on the kick, and now we have over 400. 
records, birthday records. Wow. So definitely, if you have a birthday coming up, I can get B.B. King to sing happy birthday to you. I can get Marilyn Monroe to sing happy birthday to you. Wow. Stevie Wonder to sing happy birthday to you. Yes, because we have magic lanterns. We bring them all back to life. Nice. So good job, Scott. Thank you. And then uh, step right up. What did you open up? Ah, oh, very cool. You opened my other mood ring. I have two. We're getting really moody here. <laughs> oh, you are one. Are you? Is that for real? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh my God! What are the? You should have opened this. That is so funny. So, what's your name? Austin. Austin opened up another one of my mood rings. This is mood ring number six. It's like love potion number nine if you turn it upside down. <laughs> and uh, let's see. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I did try to get it in certain colors. It wasn't for me. No, it wouldn't do anything. No. Uh, he's dead, Jim. He really is. <laughs> yeah. So I heard that if these things don't work, you're supposed to put it in the freezer for three minutes and then take it out. Uh, and when you put it in the freezer, you have to put it in tissue so that the moisture doesn't destroy the stone, uh, deteriorate it. And then you take it out and it should work. So if it doesn't work, we'll try that and see what mood you're in. All right. <laughs> so thank you very much. Sure. Very cool.